Hey guys, welcome to another video by yours truly, Delaya B. If you're new here, I am a tailored streetwear fashion designer for the ambition woman who wants to subtly stand out. I make videos about fashion design, style, and self-care, so if you're interested in any of those three topics, please hit that subscribe button right now. At the moment, I am doing a DIY capsule challenge where I'm designing my own capsule wardrobe for myself. And today's video features the first piece, which is this red camisole. You can watch how I made it right now, and at the end of the video, I'll come back and tell you how I feel about it. Here we go. Alright guys, welcome back to my little work corner. So now that you saw how I made the camisole, I know the video wasn't that eventful, something I'm going to work on, um, I want to talk about how I feel about it. So initially, 
it was supposed to be regular camisole. I decided to make it a wrap camisole to give it a little bit more oomph in the design. Overall, I really don't like it. I mean, so the lessons I learned is one, don't cheat the process. I um, made this pattern based off of a knit tank top. And for those of you who know, don't know, woven and knit X two different ways. My knit spaghetti strap stretches and all that jazz and it just falls differently on the body because it's made out of knit fabric. So making a pattern for a woven cami from that was just a bad idea. I knew it was starting out was a bad idea. I just, I did it anyway. I'm grown. I do what I want. Um, so there's that. So going forward, I can't cheat. I actually have to put in the actual work and finish it. How it's supposed to be finished and do all the pre-work. Mm. This also took longer than my design skills and construction skills um, should have allowed. It took me about a week early mornings in the early mornings to finish it mainly because um, it was more of a mindset thing to actually just get up and do the work. It's been a while since I've actually finished projects so the task, the main part of this project was to just keep consistency so every morning it was a struggle but I got up and I worked on it a little bit at a time even if it was just finishing the seam or something I just did a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I need to build up that habit again of actually um, sewing and designing all the time, not just for work, for myself. So that is going to be a process, but I'm proud of myself. So it eventually got finished. Um, it's sad that it didn't get finished the way it was supposed to, um, so it could fit my body. But hey, I'll take these little wins. It's all about the little wins after all, isn't it? Isn't it? Moving forward. I'd like to keep the same momentum going. I know editing these videos are going to slow me down. But the overall, I do want to finish the whole challenge. So the next piece of clothing is um, a sleeveless tank. No, a sleeveless shirt, sleeveless tank top. I don't know. Um, we're going to be doing that next. And then following that will be a long sleeve t-shirt. So I will catch you guys in the next video. If you want to stay connected to this challenge and see what I actually make and how everything comes out, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell um, under this video. That way you will be able to stay up to date on everything that's happening. Alright, so until next time guys, I will see you later.